god. Let's a little book review for you today with the author Lucy Ketting. And her first book is Dreamology. And her second book is Literally. I know she does have another book coming along and I can't wait for it to come out. But I'll be giving a little review on the book and what's it about and then I'll do like a little crafty thing to go along with it and if you like the idea you can comment down below and maybe suggest the book you really like and with like a little craft to go along with it <laughs> and I did get my first shot today <laughs> and I'm pretty surprised that it didn't hurt and I'm pretty nervous around shots in general and I got my shot around 12.30ish and it's about 5 now and I feel good. <laughs> Get on to the video. <laughs> Hello everyone! So it's been some time since I've been videotaping because my camera broke and now I finally got my camera. <laughs> I even got my second shot. I didn't get any symptoms or anything, but it did kind of hurt a little bit. <laughs> it hurt a little bit more than the first one. Got a bit of some decorations involved. Some star 4th of July highlights. Ah, I fell in love with this cover. You know, the back is adorable. Dreamology is about a girl named Alice who has these amazing dreams with literally the boy of her dreams named Max. Except he's not real as she thinks he's not real. They actually sit next to each other in class and he is very much real. <laughs> um, he that there's one that a couple of things is a bit more stubborn in real life and has a girlfriend <laughs> but he says he doesn't remember her until one day someone gives them cookies and he's like you can't eat those cookies you're allergic and she's like oh he remembers me <laughs> so I really this is a very clever book. I love all the whimsical dreams in it. Um, even the dreams come true in real life. And I will be making a little animation of one of the dreams I really liked. I'm just going to read you the inside of the book cover because my memory is alright. <laughs> love is a dream. Then you woke up. For as long as Alice can remember, she dreamed of Max, a boy she never met. Together they have traveled the world, riding pink elephants and had cookie fights at the Museum of Art and fallen hopelessly in love. Max is the boy of her dreams and only her dreams until the morning she finds him sitting next to her in class, very much alive. But he has no idea who Alice is. Or does he? <laughs> As Alice and Max get to know each other all over again, Alice learns that real Max is nothing like Dream Max. He's complicated and stubborn, and he also has a girlfriend in a whole life Alice isn't a part of. Soon, strange things from their dreams begin popping up while they're awake. Giant talking parrots, hot pink autumn leaves, and rainbow-colored shooting stars. Alice and Max have to find a way to make it stop, even if it means putting an end to their dream life. But when you fall in love in dreams, can reality ever be enough? <laughs> Lucy Ketting, literally. So it's about a girl named Annabelle who has her life perfect 
in life in California where she finds out that her parents are getting a divorce and they're getting rid of the house and then one day she's in English class and literally Lucy Ketting is in her class as a guest speaker and she says that she's writing a new book but normally she writes about love triangles and sad romantic stories that have sad endings and they asked her what is her next book she's going to write and she literally is writing Annabelle's life. <laughs> I love the cleverness how she wrote herself into a book of her own and Annabelle finds it a joke and she's like this can't be. She writes about love triangles but she does or is she in a love triangle? <laughs> um, Lucy Ketting writes about a perfect boy named Will and her brother's best friend Elliot. So she does have a bit of a love triangle. <laughs> I personally love the story with Will in it. How wouldn't you like something perfectly written for you? But I can see how she doesn't want someone writing her story of her life. This book got <laughs> it brought me so many different feelings. Like, oh no, yes, no. It's almost I don't want to read the end of the book. But I'm glad I read the end of the book because it was funnier than I expected, and I. I do like how it ended. It's different, but I liked it. You can tell by the tabs are like my favorite parts of the book. <laughs> Your other book, Lucy by Lucy Ketting, literally. Again, I'm just going to read the inside of the book cover. Sometimes you have to read between the lines. Annabelle's life has always been a perfect with capital P. She lives in a beautiful beach in California with her loving family and her friends are hilarious. School is a breeze, but the plot thickens when the bestseller's young adult author Lucy Ketting visits Annabelle's English class and announces that she's writing a new novel and Annabelle is the heroine because it turns out that Annabelle is character with Lucy Ketting's created. Everything in Annabelle's world, everything she ever known has come directly from Lucy's imagination. Even Will, the adorable new boy who literally made for her, and Elliot, her brother's best friend who she o only ever thought of as a background character until now. It soon becomes clear that Lucy has a plan for Annabelle, but Annabelle doesn't want to live a life where everything she does is already plotted out. Will she find a way to write her own story, or will Lucy have to have the last words? <laughs> so I decided for the book, literally, I was going to print out some pages from her book. I outlined a drawing of a boy and a girl, but I didn't really want to draw the actual people in the book because I don't want to have any spoilers who she ends up with, so I just kind of drew my boyfriend and I. I picked this little craft because it just seems like a cute little decor you can cut out and you can display it next to your book or any book. When you read the book and finish it, you can definitely pick the team who you would rather she would end up with and cut out that and put that on your dresser if you like, but I just don't want to spoil anything. I'll even read a little bit of the book for you. I'd really appreciate if you stop writing about my life, I say, and swallow. Lucy lets out a laugh. 
and turns towards me, one hand on the car window and one on her hip. I expect her to tell me I'm insane, but she doesn't. Annabelle, she says, I'm not writing about you. I am writing you. <laughs> I decided to draw an Irish hat and a sun hat for myself. <laughs> Made us look a little bit more dressed up. However, <laughs> I may have drew us a little more the same size. He is a little bit taller than me, but oh well. <laughs> the hat made it definitely seem like I'm taller anyway. <laughs> After cutting it all out, I decided to glue this down on a stand so we can stand up right. You could even make it into like a bookmark. <laughs> this is my method for how to have it dry laid against something. Here's the final look. I hope you enjoyed the book. My next creation I decided to make for Dreamology. I decided to do a jungle scene, which you can use this jungle scene for if you like to decor your planners or anything. It can be something cute to the side or just have it for a scrapbook. The purpose that I drew this for was that I'll make it into a little jungle scene animation at the end of this video. You'll have to keep watching for. <laughs> the sort of paints I decided to use today were the acrylics you can get at Menards. The color here I'm using is just green. And just fill out all the background behind the leaves. The next colors I chose were cactus, avocado, mm, sunshine yellow, <laughs> oh, so cute, I like those color names. <laughs> Here's a passage from Dreamology. It's true I not, I think I dream almost every night and about three nights a week are about Max, and yes, often they are very exotic, riding pink elephants through the jungle, exploring underwater cities, but they can also be completely normal, like visiting a museum or eating really delicious ice cream. One of my favorites takes place on a rainy cobbled street, just walking under a big umbrella, a red umbrella that's also heat lamp. Max adds, I love that one. 